here we are, poolside, and my friend Jenny, who has been the hostess for us at our beautiful house. Um, her dad lives here too, and uh, he actually went on a business trip of a week ago, and he doesn't know too much about cigars. He's pretty new to it, but he's interested, and uh, he's like, I got some cigars from this business trip I did. They were closing up the cigar bar and offered me a couple, so he grabbed two. He ended up grabbing an Arturo Fuente. Uh, cigar, and he also got a Rocky Patel vintage 1990. And I'm not into bold cigars, but this is so good. And when I told him with the brand names and how much they're worth, he was surprised. Um, he was like, you know, I don't know too much about cigars. I didn't know what they are, or if they're any good. Wouldn't have appreciated them if he didn't know what I knew. Um, but we lit them both up, and now we're enjoying them together, and they're just delicious. The Arturo Fuente is a little bit strong and spicy for my end, but this one is. I don't think I've had such a good bold cigar, and I, you know what, i got to find out how much this is worth. I wish I knew the actual name of it, because it's just a Rocky Patel Vintage 1990. But 1990, I can't, I can't imagine. It's super smooth. Great burn. Just lost the ash. And, oh my goodness, I have never had such a good cigar. So I'm going to have to find these if I can find them in, uh, in, a, in a cigar shop around here. I'm definitely going to buy one. Anyways. Just wanted to keep an update on that, so we'll get the pipe going pretty quick here, but for now I'm going to enjoy the cigar. Anyways, see you in the clouds. Hey YouTube. So, my friends and I just finished dinner up in uh, in the middle of Denton, and uh, now we're just driving around and she's showing us some bit of the farm country, and she wanted to show us some longhorns. So there's a really cool longhorn right there, and let's see if we can get a better look without me in the screen. Wish it was lighter, but that's super cool. I'm kind of scared it's going to run at me if it sees me, or sees me talking to it, talking about it. Ooh. Super cool. It's like a huge cow, but with horns, which is why they call it longhorn. And I'm super impressed considering I'm used to, like, regular-sized cows out in Canada. These are... These are really cool looking. Look at those horns. I want to like sit on its head and like ride and hold those horns. That's what I'm thinking about right now. It's a little weird. That's a big one too, because that one's a little tiny one over there. But this one's cool. Anyways. Alright, so now we're gonna get out of this. I don't know if you guys can hear this. The recording might pick up the sound. But if you can hear that buzzing, that's grasshoppers and locusts and Jenny was telling me that they didn't really, the Texas didn't really have a winter uh, last season. So what happens is the the bugs don't die if they don't if it doesn't get if they don't get frost they don't die, and they ended up like multiplying like at least like double or triple the amount that would normally be around. So it gets a little bit like the plague around here, and I can hear them, and it is pretty creepy. And she told me that she thought that when she first got here that they were birds but they're not birds, and they're grasshoppers, and I can see them flying from tree to tree. It's really freaking me out. But anyways, ooh. Anyways, this is uh, day three we're ending on here, and probably gonna go back. It's really sweaty and gross out, and it doesn't look like it, but I'm like dying right now. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to the pool uh, and have my pipe. And uh, I actually, I got a package delivered to Jenny's house that I ordered last week, and it's there now, so I'm gonna record that too. A little box opening in the middle of my trip will be awesome. Okay, I'll be back. Hey YouTube, uh, it's Jess here and I'm hanging out with my friends at a place called Oak Street Draft House and it's a really cool place, there's a lot of people here. They have like 40 different kinds of beer which I will put in a clip of the menu right now. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we're at a place, this is University of North Texas, or it's UNT, and it's basically just a big square of tons of bars and tons of people, and this isn't really a big university hangout, but a lot of people come here, I've seen old and young here, so there's a lot of people, and it's a really busy night on, on a Saturday night here, and I had to get this beer, it was, all it said is it was a number 8 beer, and it was called Lone Star, and I picked it because it's Lone Star, and that's the state I'm in, so it's really good, and it was only $2.00. So, cheers to Texas for giving me a $2 beer. Yeehaw! Anyways, this will be closed to day three. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go into Arlington and at Fort 
work, then we're going to catch a Texas Ranger game, so hope they win for me. Anyways, see you in the class. Okay, this is definitely a PS uh, to my video for day three. We're walking to a place called, what's it called, Jenny? Jenny! What's this place called? It's called Goatman's Bridge. Goat? I don't, I don't even go on it. Goatman's Bridge. Okay. I don't even want to go on it. This is not <laughs> what I expected, but apparently we just watched six or seven people walk out of here. Um, that had paranormal activity badges on, so I'm not liking this, but so far this is what we got. Oh, Christ. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you guys, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I'm not a fan. Okay, I'm not a fan of anything to do with ghosts and stuff. Not because I'm like religious and or anything. It's just that I watched the movie Exorcist. No way. No, no, it's over. It's over. I'm done. I'm done. No, 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 I'm done. Because you did that. It's over. Do you hear that though? Okay. So that's it. I took. You witnessed the entire process. The time that we were here. I don't care. Fuck the bridge. No way. It wasn't very lit up anyways. Anyways, okay. So, let's get back to this. We literally spent less than a minute here, and I'm already out. So, that's a good sign. Um, okay, yeah, no, I was, as I was saying, I was like, I'm not a, not that I'm religious and I'm a fan of this stuff. I just don't like it. I watched The Exorcist when I was, like, 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 eight years old with my dad. I watched half of it, and then... I watched it, my friend, uh, one of my best friends that's not with us right now, his name is Jordan, and he was like, you know, Jess, you know, you're 13 now, you know, you're older, maybe you was just like a, a young kid thing, right? I was like, okay, fine, we watched it during the day, and I still hated it, I had nightmares for, like, weeks. So, since then, stuff like this has bothered me, and, uh, and these guys just keep dragging me into it, and for some reason I agreed, probably because I'm a little tipsy right now, but, uh, anyways, this is going to be the end, the official end to this video, and now we're just going to go home and drink, so... Well, that was enough. You witnessed the entire yeah. process of going I there and coming so back. So, times, so like we're back in the car now. So thank God. Okay. Okay. Well, that was enough for me. Have a good night. See you in the clouds. <laughs>